sing a piece from Hala, which we recite every day of Pesach. It's an old classic that we all sing together in Shul, so sing along with the video. <laughs> Friends, I know many of our congregation have been shielding for a long time, and I know that many people have been frightened to go out. At some point, after double vaccination, things will return back to normal. Covid lifestyle cannot go on forever, and it won't. We don't know exactly when, but we do know that normality will eventually prevail. A friend of mine recently questioned, what is normal? It is a word branded around freely during these last few months. Everyone seems to yearn for it, yet how do we define it? Is it going on holiday that people are yearning for? Are people swapping the word normal for a wedding, birthday party or some other celebration that they hope to attend? Pre-Covid, a normal day of getting up, going to work, dropping off the kids at school and being able to socialise and going about your daily chores didn't seem like anything to dream of or crave. However, being deprived of our social interaction for a year, we have come to yearn and ache for normality. For some of us, going to shul every day or on Shabbos was normal. Some preferred to come less frequently, perhaps once a month or for a special occasion. Many in our congregation found normality in attending on the high festivals. I would urge everyone, for the sake of your own normality, once you are safe and comfortable to do so, to habitualise yourself with your own normal. I think you will find much needed comfort in something you may previously have done without giving much of a thought. Let us continue to praise Hashem with Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 
Hashem Kodoyim. Shalom Bechul, Shalom Bechul, Shalom Bechul Kanomim. Ki Gava Oleinu, Ki Gava Oleinu Chastoy. Lehiem Mes Hashem Le'Oilom, say that they pray better at home than in shul. It is quieter and they can concentrate on the words etc. Equally, there are those who find prayer to stir them or they are uncomfortable with the synagogue for whatever reason. Time magazine ran a study in 2018 proving that those that are part of structured faith groups and active communal life not only have a longer lifespan but also they stay active and healthy in mind and body for longer. I would urge everyone, once we are fully reopened and restrictions are lifted, to give Shul a fresh try. Don't worry, everyone coming back hasn't been to Shul for a while. You won't feel awkward returning after a prolonged period. Come to Shul for a sing-song, come to see friends, come for a sense of belonging, or dare I say, come for a chat, or even JFK, just for Kiddush. You'll be welcomed with open arms. I'm sure you'll feel richer for it too. I can't wait to see our building better than normal in the upcoming months. With that, I will sing Shi Bonabe Samigosh, which talks of the future when we will rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. social depravity, we have also had a spiritual void. We read from Isaiah 45.3 in the Torah of the last week, Sedra, For I will pour water upon the thirsty land, and the verse continues, I will pour my spirit upon the seed. Ancient Israel's weariness of God is only a passing phase, even as trees and plants withered by drought are restored by rain and dew. So will the Divine Spirit revive the parched soul of Israel and awaken its children to the glory of belonging to the Jewish people. Before I start Tal, I would like to wish everyone associated with the Berry Hebrew Congregation a very happy and kosher Pesach. I hope you all have a wonderful Yom Tov 
and I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible. I recognise that not everyone enjoys an intense prayer, so for all those that have fared with me so far, many thanks, Chag Sameer, and you can log off now. For those that are more devoted for traditional liturgy, as my wife's late grandfather was, I dedicate this piece to the late Mr. Jacob Safran, who used to ask me every year to sing this for him. He was a survivor and was liberated on Pesach 1945, and he used to recount his own story of liberation on Seder night. Tal, 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 tain, Oh! 